All right, we're spending the morning here at the French Baker, and I'm teamed up with uh, Redento Marzo, uh, AKA Chili, the uh, croissant, I'm calling him the croissant expert. Are you all right with that? Are you comfortable yeah, I'm, with I'm that title? I'm, yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay, so uh, we've got the croissant dough here. What did you just run it through? Uh, basically, it's our basic croissant dough, which is layers and layers of fat. Okay. And so now, why do you have to, to uh, cut it on this, this table here? Uh, marble is the best, uh, keeps the dough cold. The, the best dough you can work with is the cold one, butter. Okay. It will melt as soon as you touch it. So now, before you cut it, what makes this dough so delicious? You were showing me slabs of butter earlier. That's right. Why does that make a difference? Because nobody else in town that uses butter. We're the only ones. What else could you use? Uh, margarine. Margarine yeah. or butter with additives you had mentioned? Yes. Okay. So I, mean, I know when I brought that basket of uh, pastries back to the station just a few minutes ago, everyone was devouring the croissant, saying they just melt in your mouth. Does it make a difference that you're making them fresh every day too? Yes. Okay. Uh, now we're looking at the, the uh, pastry bin. You've got the croissant. What's your favorite in there? Uh, probably the croissant itself. Okay. Your second favorite? A chocolate? Yeah, the pain de chocolat, that's my <laughs> favorite as well. Okay, so what is our next step here? Now we have to cut this into 10. Okay, into 10? Yes. Okay, so triangles, right? Triangles, yes. All right, so I'll let Sorry. you do the cutting and then I'll help you with the rolling. All right. Okay. okay. There you go. We never waste that. That is full of buttery goodness, so. Okay, you don't want to waste anything? No. All right, so then what's the technique? The technique is you bring one up. Okay. Put it to the side if you want. Is the bigger triangle more difficult? It's probably easier for you actually. Okay. And you grab the end. Yep. And you pull. So grab the ends and then pull. Just slide, pull it. Voila! Wow, look at that. Yee. Can I be hired as your apprentice? <laughs> All right, so. Oop. Okay, and so now what about the croissants that are on the shelf over there with the almond filling? How would you put that in? Does it go in before they're baked? Um, no, actually we have to use a, a day old one because when they're fresh, you can't cut them. They're just too soft. Okay. Yeah. And as what soon about... as you cut them, they just break apart. Okay, so. and what about a pain de chocolat? It's How... the same, same thing. Okay, so you have to actually cut it open cut and it open. insert the chocolate. Yeah. All right. Now, how many of these do you make a day, would you say? On a regular day, probably 300. 300, and on a weekend? And we're talking about 1,500 maybe. And on, on Canada Day? Canada Day, <laughs> we're close. <laughs> but Christmas Day, we're talking about, we're, we're talking into thousands. Really? Yes. And, and how long would it take you to do something like that? Probably about six hours. Six hours, okay, so it's basically a full work day of just rolling croissant. Rolling, rolling croissant, croissant and somebody else is baking. And it's still your favorite? Yes. That's a testament to how good they are here at the, the French Baker, eh? Yes. How many years have you been around? Um, ten. Yeah, well, here at the French Baker anyways. But yes, You'd be a very ten. mature ten-year-old. <laughs> I've been All here right. for ten. So how long do they need, these need to bake for? About fifteen minutes. This should double in size before you put it in the oven. Oh, that's yeah. right, because they'll grow. Do you need to yeah. put them in a proofer? No, no, we just put them in a proofing rack, which is beside the oven. So. Yeah, and then they pop in for 15 minutes, and then they will be out. And can they be eaten right away, or do they need to sit for a second? You can eat them right away. Okay, which explains why the ones in the basket are literally still uh, still warm. Chili, thank you very much for sharing your secret. I'll let you uh, take those away to the oven. A little bit later in the morning, we'll be making baguettes, and then we'll be heading into the back section here at the French Baker to check out the bistro. Now